All right, hi class. Some more vocab with Mr. Johnson. Today, we are learning about positive and negative connotation. So, the first thing we need to say is what is connotation? What is, when we say connotation, what is connotation? And we're going to say, for simplicity reasons, it is either the good or bad feelings associated with a word. So what is the connotation? It's either the good or bad feelings associated with it. How does this word make me feel? So that's what we're going to ask ourselves. So we're going to look for good and bad. Those are the two connotations, and they're the feelings associated with each word, like I said. So as you can tell, I have my two screens up. I have my IXL screen and my note-taking screen, which I always have because it helps Mr. Johnson keep his thoughts straight. All right, so let's begin. It says, which phrase has a more negative connotation? So I'm looking for a negative connotation. So that's what it said. I'm looking for a negative connotation. And I have two words, two sayings. To exploit something and to use something. So these are my two options. I need to know which one is more negative. So to use something. First, let's define to use something. Um, how would we say, well, to use something? Um, to use something, I use a pen to write. So that's me. I mean, that's not really that negative. Now, let's look at to exploit something. To exploit means to to make rumors or statements that damage something. So that's what it means to exploit. To use just means to do an act with something. So if I look at these two, I have exploit something, which means to damage it or make room in. So if I wanted to exploit um, Spider-Man to the public, I would go around and say all these nasty things about him and get people to dislike it. But if I use Spider-Man to save my life, that means I called on him, right? So I'm looking at which one is more negative. So which one of these is more negative? Definitely going to go with exploit. So I'm going to come up here to my answer box, check exploit, boom. All right, I'm going to erase my notes so we can do this again, so we can get better at it. All right, which phrase has a more negative connotation? So again, we're looking for negative 
Which one is more negative? All right, more negative. And let's see what my choices are. A. Who, a conceited person? Or a confident? Oops, confident. Now I notice that my two options are the same except one word. Option A, conceded. Option two is confident. All right, so now I need to know the difference between these because I'm looking for more negative. Which one of these is more negative? Well, we'll start with confident. To be confident, you trust that you have the ability to do something. All right. So to be confident, you trust the ability, right? That doesn't seem that negative. Like, if I said Mrs. Jansen is a very confident teacher, I don't think that that would be such a bad thing. That would mean that she knows what she's doing and she has no problem teaching because she's sure of what she's doing. So let's define conceited person. Now, to be conceited, You feel that you are the best at everything. You are never wrong. And your poop don't. So if you're a conceited person, you just think you're a know-it-all. You're a mister. I know everything. I'm always right. No one's as good as me. I ought to get everything given to me because I'm the best. So I have a confident person and a conceited pe person. Definitely between confident doesn't really make me feel negative. But a conceited person, that is definitely something I don't want to be. So I'm going to pick a conceited person. Look at that. All right, we're going to erase. We're going to erase our notes. We're going to do one more. So more negative again. Which phrase has a more negative? A company spoils and... Uh, companies profits. So I see that again, my phrases are about the same except for these two words, spoils and profits. Now you may be like, oh, Mr. Johnson, I know which one is negative. Now you may, but because that's not how we do things, we do things by breaking it down. We're gonna break this one down even though we may think we already know the answers, just to make sure. So a company's profits. And what are profits? Profits are what a company makes selling or performing work right so it's the company's the company's money now that doesn't seem like such a bad thing right company's profits right that sounds pretty nice 
So let's look at spoils. So spoils, spoils are what a company loses. Just like meat that sits out spoils and has to be thrown away. So that and that it. All right. So, uh, spoils. Spoils are what the company loses. Like if they over, if they break something or they hurt something or they don't do something right. The spoils are what the company loses. Just like when meat sits out and has to be thrown away, which makes me sad because I love meat. It makes me feel sad, which is negative. So, spoils is definitely the negative Um <clears throat> term. All right, you're going to do the next problems just like I've shown you. Look if they want negative or positive, <clears throat> and then break down the words that you're given or the phrases that you're given. I know you're going to do great on this skill, so go ahead and get that 100%.